What if I told you that you could make a pigeon superstitious? You can, and I'm going to explain to you how. I'm Dr. Kion West of the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds, and I'm going to talk to you about a single paper called Superstition in the Pigeon, published by B.F. Skinner in 1948. To explain how I'll make a pigeon superstitious, I'd have to explain four things to you. The first would be what operant conditioning is. The second would be what a Skinner box is. The third would be what a reward schedule is. And then the fourth will be applications to pigeons. The fifth will be applications to ourselves to explain how you make people superstitious as well. So what is operant conditioning? Operant conditioning is what psychologists call training or any activity in which you encourage a kind of behavior or discourage another kind of behavior. The principles of operant conditioning are fairly straightforward. They involve either a reinforcement or a punishment and either giving something or taking something away. Just so you get the terminology of operant conditioning correctly, I'll walk you through it a little bit right now. As you can see in the table I've put up, if something encourages behavior, it's called reinforcement. Whether you give something or take something away to encourage behavior, that's reinforcement. So if, for example, someone does something you like and you give them a good grade or you give them money, that's called reinforcement. If they do something that you don't like and you try to stop them from doing it, so let's say you're a parent and you take away their television privileges, or you give them a good spanking, not that I'm encouraging that, but that's called a punishment. It discourages the behavior. If you look at the table now, we're focusing on giving versus taking away. So if you give something, that's called positive, whether or not the thing you're giving is actually considered positive by normal standards. So giving money, giving a spanking, these are both called positive taking away money, or taking away television privileges, or taking away something that they don't like, like taking away an aversive noise, or taking away the fact that they have to eat vegetables every day. That would be called negative, whether they like it or not. When you put these terms together, then you can understand what operant conditioning does in terms of rewards and punishment and giving and taking. That's where you get terms like positive reinforcement and negative punishment, or positive punishment and negative reinforcement. 